What is the importance of mascots to sports teams? Honestly, many don't know, but I'm going to tell you the best I can. Mascots are what's basically the, they're the backbone of the team. They interact with the fans, keep them pumped up, keep them happy, keep them excited. And mascots are what are definitely part of the community, and they grow upon the ci- the cities that they are in. I.e., Yuppie. Like, Yuppie from... So, Yuppie used to be the, the mascot of the Montreal Expos before the Expos moved to the... The nation, the uh, sorry, before the Nationals moved to Washington D.C. and became the Nationals, the Expos. He was heart. Yuppie was heartbroken. Then he was accepted at by the Montreal Canadiens. Honestly, he's iconic to the city. Now, what's this whole con- contact about mascots got to do with my video? A few nights ago, the Vegas Golden Knights have revealed their new mascot, which is not a knight, but is a Gila monster. Yes, a freaking Gila monster. People think it's a chameleon, people think it's a, it's a dinosaur, it's a fucking Gila monster. And people are upset that it's not a knight. Look, Las Vegas, if you want a knight as your mascot, make a second one. Honestly, it's a good idea. It's a great concept of chance. And no, I'm not choc- talking about that chance that, I'll, that is a total prick. I'm talking about the new Vegas Golden Knights mascot. But still, it's a beautiful, it's a really nice concept. I mean, it's perfect for the, for the area that they're in. They're, Gila monsters are definitely, they're plentiful around the desert. Especially the Mojave. So it's understandable that they would do something like this. Now, a lot of you are going to say, it should be a knight. Well, if they want a knight mascot, they can make a second one. They can become like the Florida Panthers. Now, a lot of you are going to be like, the Florida Panthers only have one mascot, and it's Stanley C. Panther. Nope, there is another one called Victor, who is a rat. Now, if you don't know the history behind the rats, back in the old days... Florida Panthers fans used to throw rats onto the ice. It was kind of like a tradition, kind of like the catfish with the predators and the octopus with the red wings. It's trying a symbol. It's somewhat of a symbol. But the Panthers took that. The ownership of the Panthers took that concept and made and made a mascot out of it. What? That's not a bad idea, actually. I wonder what happened to the rat, but <laughs> if they kept it, um, that I'm gonna be, I'm gonna say that it's a really nice concept. And first time I've ever seen an NHL in any team, any hockey team with two mascots. Now I've seen baseball teams with two mascots, i.e., the Syracuse Chiefs and the New York Mets, but never a hockey team, which I find awkwardly strange. But anyway, back to this. So the Golden Knights unveiled it, bef- unveiled chance before during the pregame, during the pregame of Friday's game against those fucking Red Wings. And pe and people are complaining. People are saying it's not good. They wanted a knight. People want the Golden Knights to stick with the med- medieval theme. Now, now sometimes you can't. You gotta get creative. That's the whole point of having a mascot. It's a lot. It allows you to become creative. Let's take a look. Let's think about some of the other mascots in the NHL. Like say, uh, Howler from the Gold from the freaking Coyotes. A lot of people say he's cartoony and goofy, but then again, aren't a lot of mascots cartoony and goofy? That's their goal, to make it goofy so the fans love it. And it's not too scary for the kids. I mean, you look at Howler, he's a freaking coyote. Not a real-life coyote, but still. Another good prime example would be... Hmm, trying to think. Uh, 
chat. My mind is just rushing. Uh, Nash from the Predators. I mean, of course, he looks goofy, but still, pretty freaking badass. And the uh, saber tooth from the Sabers, of course, he's very goofy. I've I've gone to a Sabers. I went to a Sabers game a few years ago, and <laughs> that mascot is so freaking goofy. But still, that's what they want. They want the fans to love the mascots. And then, so that's a good thing. And mascots are a lo are a big thing in the sports world. When you think about someone like, when you think about a mascot in college sports, you think of Pistol Pete from Oklahoma State, and then there is a uh, I'm not the best with names, the Blue Devil from Duke, and of course out of the orange, definitely I cannot forget out of the orange. But still, mascots are the fabric. That hold together, that bring together a team. Like, they're that missing piece that the fans love. And the fans, honestly, the fan, honestly, from the roar that that Chance got on Friday, you can tell that he's going to have a fun time in Vegas. And I think it symbolizes the city very well. First off, like I said earlier, they're in the Mojave Desert, which is plentiful has mountain is plentiful in Gila monsters. Second off, they're in the freaking entertainment capital of the world. Las Vegas is the entertainment capital of the world. Now, with all that being said, it's still an ironic fact that guy's name is Chance. Gambling is a game of chance. I honestly, and the Golden Knights are a chance, a chance of expansion. Chance of bringing hockey, something that is foreign to the Southwest, to the parts of the Southwest, parts of Nevada and the United States, they're bringing that to them, and that's why I like the I like the idea that of the league expanding. Especially, it's a big idea. It grows the hockey family. It grows the NHL family. People can say, oh, Gary Bettman hasn't mo learned from his venture into Phoenix. But honestly, the Coyotes are somewhat of a success. There are still avid fans of the Coyotes. Just like there will be avid fans of the Golden Knights for years to come. Now a lot of people will be mad because they're because the Raiders are coming to town in a few to Vegas in a few years, but honestly. Let's take, let's say this. Times are changing. Give Vegas a chance. Nightmare J. Boucher, Sons and Out.